Hey, I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ATV MC, and today I'm going to show you a worn straight blade universal plow kit and how to install it. These worn plow kits are a great option for you if you have an ATV with a winch. Now, they are a universal fit. They have a lot of options for mounting locations and they're just going to go underneath the mid part of the frame and you're going to use four u-bolts now depending on your skid plate you may or may not have to drill a couple holes we'll show you how to do that in a minute but for now let's get started to do this job you're going to need common hand tools including a tape measure we have an auto centering punch a few different drill bits the largest one we're using is a 3 8 and then we're also using safety glasses some gloves and rags all right, this is the worn standard straight blade universal plow kit. So you have your 48 inch blade, your push tube, and your mounting bracket, and then of course all of the mounting hardware. The only thing that we added was this snow plow strap, and this is just gonna keep us from wearing out the, the wire rope on our winch. All right, to start out, you wanna start by going through the instructions that come with all these parts. There's a lot of bolts and hardware. It can be intimidating, but you just eliminate one thing at a time. So easiest way to get rid of some bolts is to install this wear bar first. And that's gonna be the bag with these two clips in it. So to get this attached, we have seven shoulder bolts in there. And then install the nylock nuts on the back. Once those are loosely installed, we'll flip the blade over and tighten them down. Now, when you're tightening things down throughout the process, you're gonna to wanna to refer to the instructions. They have all the torque specs in there. Next, we'll adjust these skids so they're level with the edge of that wear bar. If you're plowing gravel, you wanna have these past the edge of that wear bar. Next thing we'll install is out of a different hardware pack. So these are gonna be the two eyelet bolts and we have two nuts that go on each of them. They're gonna to jam together, but for now we're just gonna leave them loose. Next, we're gonna install this adjustment bar. And to do that, we've got this bigger spring, it goes right there, this will sit in it. And then we've got this shoulder bolt with the spring on it. And that's gonna go through the middle of that swivel. Then we can install this nut and tighten it down. Next, we have the bolts that take the eight millimeter Allen key. You've got three holes on the front of this push tube. I'm gonna put this through the highest one and then put the nut towards the inside. We'll do that on both sides and tighten them down. So in the hardware bag that has these J bolts, you're gonna have one other bolt and this is gonna be where you mount up the wire or the rope from your winch, you'll just install the bolt through the back. We'll slide that into place, install the washer and the nut. All right, now we're gonna install the J-hook. We've got the washer and nut on the back side. And we'll leave that loose for now. Now we need to get this block of wood out of the way. And we're gonna tip the blade up. Now to attach this, we have this large bolt with the shoulder and we're first gonna slide that through the push tube. And that's gonna come through that big hole on the plow. You've got this washer with the square in it. That's gonna be your spacer that goes inside there. Big washer on the end. 
and then the big nylock. And before we do the final torque, we'll install the other side. Now we can go back through and torque all of the hardware down. The next step is to install your springs. So you, you're going to want to start at the plow base. Put that into place. You're going to pull this back as far as it goes and stretch the spring into the eyelet. The spring is going to be loose for now. Once you have the second spring in, installed, you can tighten these bolts until there's tension on the spring and just the right tension is going to be to where this spring cannot come off easily. And then once you have the desired tension, you just want to tighten down this jam nut and make sure that they can't come undone all on their own. So we've gone ahead and installed the worn snowplow rope to our winch. We do have a separate video on that, on how to do it. The whole point is so you don't wear down your wire rope, eventually it can break. And the wire ropes, if they break, you're gonna have to replace the whole thing. So that's why we went with this. This thing does have the potential to break, but the nice thing about it, if it does break, you can always tie off a new section. And that way, again, it saves the wire rope. So at this point, we need to get our mounting plate installed. Now with this, we have the, sp the spline plate. Now this thing, this section right here is gonna mount somewhere close to the A-arms in that area, but you need to take some measurements. So for this, they want you to measure from the front of these tires. So the front of the spine plate, you want up to 19 inches back from the front of those tires. Now the other thing you need to know about this is we've got two other brackets. So this rear mounting bracket needs to be between 10 and 25 inches from this front mounting location. So you're just gonna measure from U-bolt to U-bolt wherever you mount this up. Then you have the mounting bracket for the push tube. This is just gonna go underneath like this. And you're gonna use some bolts to mount this on. Now the thing with this is this needs to be within 24 inches of the front of the front wheels. So on the bottom of the machine, if you have a stock skid plate, you wanna remove it if you can. This one's welded on, so we're gonna to have to work around it. Now, with this, I'm gonna put our U-bolts in just behind those A-arms, and this barely comes in that 19 inches or less spec, so if you're less than 19 inches and have a place for those U-bolts, that's perfectly fine. But if you're further back than 19 inches, you need to find a new mounting location. And for now, we're gonna loosely install the nuts. Now for the rear mounting bracket, the U-bolts need to be between 25 and 10 inches from the front mounting U-bolts. And typically this is gonna be underneath your foot pegs. So for us to get the U-bolts around the frame right here by the foot peg, we're actually gonna to have to drill a hole. And the manual wants you to use a 23 64 drill bit. If you don't have that, it's not that common. So you can use a 3 8 it's just one step up. So one side of our frame is sticking further out than the other. So on one side, we're gonna use these outer mounting slots. And then the other side, I'm gonna to try to use this inner mounting slot right here. And to get it more towards the front of the machine, I'm gonna flip the bracket over. We're just gonna use a jack to raise the back of this mount up. And that way we can hold it in place while we mark our drilling locations. Now when we drill this out, we're gonna use a pilot bit 
and you just want to make sure that you're not going to be drilling into anything important on the other side. Now we're going to run the bigger bit through using some penetrating oil and that's just going to help keep us from dulling the bit. Now we're going to install the push tube bracket. Now this thing, wherever you're mounting the push tube to, it can't be further back than 24 inches from the front of the tires. And we're already at 19 inches, so I'm just going to mount this as far forward as I can. And on this, we're just using four carriage bolts. Next, we're going to slide this rear mount into place and we'll install, loosely install two of these carriage bolts. Now we can install the U-bolts. Now at this point, we can double check all the measurements and then go through and tighten down all the hardware. We're gonna attach our push tube to these front two mounting locations on this bracket. Now, We'll do that with the clevis pin, but since these are painted or powder coated, you might have to run a drill bit through them to clean out that powder coat, and that way this pin fits all the way through. Once you have everything tightened down, you're just gonna drive over that push tube, then you can raise it up into place and install those clevis pins. Now we can turn the clutch on our winch to the free spooling position, and then we're gonna attach it to that J hook we had. Now we can tighten the bolt down all the way. Now we can flip the switch back on our clutch and we're ready to use the plow. And I'm just using the hub wireless controller for this. Now we're just gonna make some final adjustments. So these skids, I've got them a little low. So I'm gonna raise them up one notch. And the last thing we're gonna do is adjust our blade angle. And that's all there is to installing your worn snowplow kit. If you need one of these kits or any other accessories for your ATV, be sure to get those on our website and subscribe to our channel for more helpful content. Thanks for watching.